Welcome to Free Math. In this video, we have got this uh, big rectangle uh, A, B, C, D along with these two identical uh, green uh, rectangles as you can see in this uh, given diagram such that uh, this uh, A, C is the diagonal of this uh, big uh, rectangle A, B, C, D and moreover uh, this side length uh, of this uh, green rectangle is uh, lowercase a and likewise uh, the side length uh, of this uh, identical uh, green rectangle is uh, lowercase uh, a as well while the other side length of this uh, green rectangle is uh, lowercase uh, b and the other side length uh, of this uh, identical green rectangle is uh, lowercase b as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, region, this uh, area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts and let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle. And now let's assume the area of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 2 times uh, uppercase A. And here we have drawn this uh, diagonal of this uh, rectangle. Then this uh, diagonal is going to divide the area of this uh, rectangle into two equal parts. Uh, this area and this uh, area. If the total area of this rectangle is uh, 2 times A, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be A. And likewise, uh, the area of this uh, other uh, triangle uh, is uh, A as well. And likewise, if we draw the diagonal the other way around, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be A. And the area of this uh, other uh, triangle is going to be A as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, rectangle. If this side length uh, of this uh, green rectangle is lowercase a, then this side length uh, is going to be lowercase a as well. And likewise uh, for this uh, green rectangle, uh, if this side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is lowercase a, then uh, this side length uh, is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. And now we are going to find the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle. We know its uh, dimensions are uh, lowercase a and uh, lowercase b. So therefore green rectangle area is going to become uh, a times b. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one. So thus the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be a times b. And likewise the area of this uh, rectangle is uh, a times b as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. This uh, right triangle uh, CEP and this other right triangle uh, FGP. And now we can see that uh, the right triangle uh, CEP and the other triangle uh, FGP are uh, our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. And here we can see that uh, these angles, this angle, and this angle they are our vertical angles this angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well and furthermore uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase a and this side length uh, of this other triangle is lowercase uh, a as well and since uh, both of these uh, triangles are uh, congruent so therefore uh, the area of this triangle is going to be equal to the area of this triangle. Let's assume the area of this uh, triangle is uh, x, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be x uh, as well. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, region, and this uh, triangle area is same as uh, this uh, triangle. So therefore we conclude that the purple shaded area is going to be equal to the half of this uh, bigger uh, rectangle uh, a b c d area and i'm going to label this one uh, as our equation uh, number two and now let's focus once again on this uh, green uh, rectangle we know the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, 
a times b and moreover we know that this uh, a f uh, is the diagonal of this uh, green uh, rectangle so therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, a f g is going to be half of this uh, area so the area of this triangle is going to be a times b divided by 2 so thus we can write the area of this uh, triangle uh, a f g as uh, a times b divided by 2 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number 3 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, trapezoid uh, f b c p I'm going to label the area of this uh, trapezoid as y and then we can see the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, f b c g is going to be x uh, plus y and here we put down the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, f b c g as uh, x plus y far over here the left hand side and likewise uh, the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle uh, is going to be x uh, plus y as well and here we put down uh, this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, area as uh, x plus y on the right hand side as well and since we got x plus y on this side and x plus y on this side as well so no wonder the area of this quadrilateral uh, f b c g is going to be equal to the area of this uh, green rectangle and uh, from equation one we can see the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, a times b so therefore uh, i am going to replace uh, this uh, green rectangle area by a times b over here so therefore uh, the area of this quadrilateral uh, fpcg turns out to be equal to a times b and i'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number four and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, a b c as you can see over here and this uh, triangle a b c area is same as uh, the half uh, of this uh, big rectangle uh, a b c d area and we can see this uh, area is going to be equal to this triangle uh, a f g area this uh, triangle uh, a f g area plus the area of the quadrilateral uh, FBCG. We are talking about uh, this uh, quadrilateral uh, FBCG area. And from equation three, we know the area of this triangle uh, AFG is uh, A times B divided by two. And the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, FBCG is uh, A times B from this equation four. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, this uh, area by a times b over here as you can see in this uh, next step and if we add uh, both of them that is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, a b divided by 2 so thus the half of this uh, big uh, rectangle a b c d area turns out to be 3 times a b divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 2 and here i have copied down equation 2 over here and now let's focus on the right hand side uh, the half of the bigger rectangle ABCD area we already figured out as uh, 3 times AB divided by 2 so I'm going to substitute uh, 3 times AB divided by 2 over here so thus our purple shaded area turns out to be 3 times AB divided by 2 so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded region turns out to be 3 times AB divided by 2 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.